Welcome to the video. I am Swati and I am here to show you how easy it is to get started with process mining in PathNow. Over the last couple of weeks, the corona pandemic is changing lifestyles and working practices drastically, including for those of the consulting industry. Many consultants, both external and internal, are forced to work from home. The key question is, how can we all emerge strengthened from this current crisis? Instead of wrestling with the present, we could indeed use this time to test new business models and digital technologies. And one such innovative technology is process mining. To do this, of course we hope that all of you have already downloaded the free visual from AppSource. If not, now is the time. So what is process mining? Process mining is a tool-based method designed to deliver improved process performance at much lower costs. We believe that process mining will be the new global standard for analyzing and optimizing business processes. Process mining as such guarantees an objective measurement of the actual performance of executed processes and new possibilities in areas of process analysis, process mapping, and process survey. In today's video, we'd like to convey how easy process mining could be. So what do you need? You need three things. The first step is to get your data, or even better, data that are written off in operational systems anyway. The point is to generate process knowledge from this data and make it usable. So to be more specific, we need process data built in a certain format. Let's look into an example of a pizza baking process. Every pizza that's baked is one case, and it's denoted by a unique identifier called case ID. These are the different activities that are performed in every case from start to end in order to complete baking one pizza. And each of these activities have a unique timestamp as to when they have been executed. So all of them, the case ID, activity name, and timestamp, when put together is what we call an event log. So we need this event log to be stored in a tabular format. Moving on to the second step, we ask you to download the free desktop version of Microsoft Power BI. For everyone who doesn't know Power BI yet, Power BI has been the world's leading analytics and BI software for years. More than 10 million users use Power BI every day, and a whopping 97% of global Fortune 1000 companies have rolled out Power BI in their organizations. Lastly, Power BI is integrated into Microsoft Office 365 and has therefore become indispensable. Very simply because it is available to every user as a standard analytics and BI tool. Of course, the last thing that you need is a process mining software. PathNow is one of the leading process mining solutions out in the market. This installation-free PathNow plugin for Power BI is available free of charge from Microsoft App Source. And we always get this question, why was PathNow integrated into Power BI? We see that process mining applications can best demonstrate their performance when embedded in a powerful BI environment. By the way, this is also stated in the Process Mining Manifesto written in 2011 by the Process Mining Masterminds. This is exactly why we decided several years ago to integrate process mining into the world's leading analytics and BI solution, which is Microsoft Power BI. PathNow process mining users can therefore use the almost unlimited analysis and automation functions of Power BI as well as Power Automate to analyze and optimize their processes. No other process mining provider makes it as easy as PATH to get your process mining projects successful with your own data, your own infrastructure, and the in-house experts as the most important resources. So let's quickly take a look at how simple and effective process mining can be. Of the three components I'd mentioned earlier, I now have my Power BI open. Let's go to the Get Data option. This gives you a ton of data sources to connect to. You can import your process data from any of the sources mentioned here. My business process data is stored in a CSV file, so I would choose this. I can now select the required file to be imported. As you can see, this data is based on a purchasing process captured from an SAP ERP system. This is my event log with all the essential columns like case ID, activity name, and timestamp 
and other process relevant data as well. But you can analyze any process data with PEF now. Now that we have raw data in Power BI, let's go ahead and import the PathNow process mining visual from the app source. Within the app source, once you type PathNow, the PathNow process mining visual pops up and you can add it to the visualization pane. Now we're good to go. This is the icon for the PathNow process mining visual. When you click on the icon, an empty visual is created on the canvas. So let's have a brief look into how we can set up this visual. For the PathNow process mining to visualize your process, you first have to drag the required fields into the appropriate buckets. So let's move into the fields pane. Drag in the field case ID for the case identifier bucket. Activity name for the event label bucket. And timestamp for the timestamp bucket. If you have a process data with a start and end timestamps, then you would use your end timestamp in the next bucket. We immediately see the process picture showing up in the visual. These are the start and end points. All the activities are represented in what we call as nodes. They're connected by process paths, also known as edges. Using these icons, you can zoom in and out of the process picture to closely see the details within the process map. This is a mini map. It helps you to keep track of where exactly you're pointing to respect to the entire process picture. Now, in order to get back to full view, you can use this fit to screen option. So you can completely customize and personalize this visual according to your preferences. And you can find a variety of such options in the format tab of this visual. For instance, if you'd like, if you'd like to remove this mini map, you can go to the format tab and under advanced section, you can disable it. We also see a slider appear at the bottom of the visual. This slider helps you control the level of complexity you would like to visualize in the process. Sliding to the right will progressively add variance. And onto the extreme right, this is how the entire process looks like. Whereas on moving to the leftmost side, only the last variant with the biggest volume shows up in the process picture. Now, the edges hold useful information to gain deeper insights into the process. For example, these edge labels give you the volume of cases passing through that edge and the average duration it takes to move from one activity to the other. And when you hover over the edge, a tooltip gets displayed. This shows, in addition, the sum of all durations for this edge. You can also notice that some edges are thicker than others. This is based on the volume of cases flowing through it. So all the edges where more number of cases flow will be depicted much thicker than others. As a result, you can see that the edge from create PO to approve PO level one is thicker than the create PO to postcards receipt. Similarly, it also depicts some paths brighter red in color than others based on the average duration of that edge. So edges which take longer durations are depicted brighter red in color than others. And this allows us to easily point out that post invoice to pay invoice takes much longer than the postcards received to post invoice. Also, the default highlight color is red, but you can change it to any other color from the format tab of the visual. When I hover over the node, a tooltip with activity name and corresponding volume is displayed. The same volume is used to highlight the node, which means a greater case volume has brighter red nodes. This way, all your important information is available at just one glance into your process picture. Moving on to the next feature, the visual also offers the possibility to drill down and examine your process more closely using filter options. I've just added this table visual with all the vendors by the side of our process mining visual. For instance, this purchasing process has some cases where there are post-negative goods receipts. In other words, your goods receipts are being reversed. And if I would like to see only cases that have gone through such reversals, I would go to the search tab and type negative. It performs a fuzzy search. And on pressing enter, it takes me to that part of the process picture where these reversals occur. On a right click, it prompts me with two options, include and exclude. 
If I wanted only cases where all these reversals have happened, I would select Include. Once I've filtered, it updates the browser explorer with current filters on the top left corner. This automatically interacts with other visuals in my report page and filters for the selection. So, these are the list of all my vendors where such reversals occur. Lastly, you can hover over the icons and click on the bin if you'd like to delete these filters set on the visual. Let's next dive into one of our powerful features. The PathNow Process Mining Visual can now decompose and visualize a process based on case level attributes, and it can now perform what we call as difference analysis using the legend feature. We can use this feature very efficiently for a use case like concept drift. Concept drift is a phenomenon where the process properties change over a period of time. And if I would like to analyze this concept using our visual, I can do so by using fiscal year as a legend. I also have other legend options like happy path, variant, etc. There are three layouts on how I can visualize this. We're currently in the unique highlight mode. It highlights, for example, just this edge, post negative goods receipt to delete PO for the year 2014, simply because it has not occurred for other fiscal years. Now let's go to the next mode. When I use the all in one mode, I can see which of the years have gone through specific activities more or less frequent. In this example, the purchasing process in 2015 was the least compliant because they have never gone through all approval levels before moving into the goods received, unlike other fiscal years. And I can see this very clearly when I'm in the side-by-side -side mode. Now let me change back to the side-by-side -side mode. Here, it places all the graphs, one beside the other, one for each of the years so you can exactly see how the process occurred in 2013 as compared to 2015. Let's jump into another interesting feature. The PathNow Process Mining Visual can now perform a data-driven conformance check of the process. Top right corner of the visual has an icon, which on clicking activates the conformance checking mode. So this feature is actually part of our PathNow Premium and Enterprise Suites, which were partly released for our Power BI users as a goodie. Now let me slide to the most frequent variant. On examining this process variant, I conclude that I would like to use this as a reference or should be model for my process. So I mark it as conform. When I click on the third icon from top, I can see that my reference model has been updated to what I just marked as conformed. Let me now slightly slide to the right. This includes more variants. This visual automatically identifies that the approval levels two and three have been skipped and the path from approval level 1 to post goods received is not conformed. Beside the conformance mode icon, I can see a conformance score of the current selected variant. Here, it is 86%. As I further move to the right, more variants that are not conformed have been identified. Now, when I look into the complete process picture, I see that I have only 46% of my process conformed. This method eliminates the need to have a predefined reference model for the process you would like to evaluate. And there's a huge advantage for organizations that would otherwise have to come together several times before you, they even get a meaningful reference model to start with. In addition, there's an auto mode which can be enabled from the conformance section. It automatically renders the top 80% of the process to be a reference model. So far, we've seen two important aspects of our PathNow process mining free visual. Number one, it's very easy and comfortable to set up. It probably takes less than three minutes to do so. Two, at the same time, it's a very powerful and multifunctional visual. It's bundled with a ton of features enabling the users to drive key insights into their process data. However, this visual allows you to analyze processes with up to 30,000 events. On the other hand, our PathNow Premium and Enterprise versions support unlimited data volumes and provide you with a much wider range of opportunities to explore process mining in Power BI. I hope we succeeded in showing you how simple and powerful process mining is. Basically, one can say that PATH democratizes process mining. As you've seen, 
We do this by making Pathnow Process Mining Visual available to every user as an entry-level version, both installation-free and free of charge via Microsoft App Source. In addition, Pathnow Premium and Pathnow Enterprise offer commercially usable solutions without data limitations and with automatic analysis reports for all business processes in the company. At the same time, we make Pathnow available to every Microsoft Office 365 user via Power BI. In this way, we believe that every company benefits every single day from being able to identify business problems and eliminate them directly. With Pathnow, we help companies to reuse existing process data. We visualize it in such a way that everyone benefits from this knowledge for recurring process optimization. And all this happens at the digital workplace in Microsoft Office 365. Access to data is now a breeze with more than 150 connectors to backend systems. Process insights can be used directly to optimize business processes. For this, you're supported by more than 300 action connectors to directly and continuously improve business processes for example, via machine learning, bots, or workflow automation. With this message, I hope you share our passion for process mining and Power BI. Now is the time to test, explore PathNow and process mining. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us anytime. Most importantly, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you for watching this video.